Welcome to As a Matter of Fact. We appreciate that you take some time of to watch this channel, to be our fan, to support us, and be there for us. We pledge that we will never let you down. We shall ensure that we bring you good content every other time. Now, today we're going to talk about the M23 and the clashes with the DRC, and the fact that the M23 is ready to withdraw its troops from the captured territories in the Eastern DRC. Welcome aboard. It is a matter of fact. Now, as our routine is, we're going to pick an article from the Al Jazeera website. And it is what we're going to refer to and it is what we're going to, you know, work with today as we bring you what we had for you today. And the title of the article that we're going to use today says, M23 ready to withdraw in Eastern DRC yet clashes reported. We've been talking about the M23 for some time now in a number of series. But one thing is consistent. While dialogue for peace or peace talks are going on, clashes haven't stopped. The M23 is steadfast and they are on a trajectory to attaining their objective, whatever objective they have is. Much as they think about peace, much as they also think about peace and dialogue, they have not stopped to do what they do. There's been peace talks in Nairobi that lasted for eight days and the outcomes of these peace talks were quite encouraging. According to the ex-president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, he stated that um, over 50 rebel groups were represented in this dialogue and something bright or a ray of hope has started to manifest. And he said that these rebels are also going to meet again in DRC to forge a way forward between January and February. And hopefully that M23 would be part of this dialogue. Now, that is a direction for peace. That is something that you can say that now there is a process for peace. But this, all this is going on when the East African standby forces have already, most of them, deployed in the DRC. We said Burundi deployed, Kenya deployed, Uganda sent uh, their first team to DRC as well. And I'm pretty sure that other countries are on a higher lot to deploy in the DRC to find a solution to the M23. That is, if the dialogue, if, peace mean, if peaceful means fail, then force would be applied. Now, M23 has come out to say that it is ready, because it was one of the elements that we reached upon in the truth that was signed in Rwanda between the president of uh, DRC Shekedi Felix and the government of Rwanda that was represented by the foreign minister. So one of the things reached upon was that the M23 was to cease atrocities immediately but also to withdraw from the territories that he had captured from the DRC. At the, at, at, at the beginning, the M23 refuted and refused because they feel they weren't directly represented in that dialogue. Okay? So while the deadline was put, the clashes continued and the deadline was not respected. 
In fact, during the deadline time, like that, that day and the following day, it is approximated that about 300 people lost their lives in Eastern DRC. And the government of DRC went ahead to put uh, days of mourning where the flags in the whole country were flown at half mast to remember people that lost their lives in that massacre that was staged by the M23 per se. Much as the M23 refuted the allegations saying that only eight, only eight civilians lost their lives to stray bullets, they never carried out any massacre. So what I'm trying to say that amidst peace talks, amidst a truce that was signed in Rwanda, the fighting continued. However, a ray of hope now comes with an article in Al Jazeera on Al Jazeera website saying, reading, or, you know, actually reading, that the M23 is ready to retreat from the already captured territories in the DRC or in the Eastern DRC. That is a ray of hope that we're talking about. That is something that is going to be the beginning of realizing peace in the DRC. Now, we get into the article to get to the nitty gritties of what it reads. The armed group, which was absent from the latest peace talks, has requested a meeting with regional mediators over the continuing conflict. Well, as we all understand, it was just M23 and a few other groups that were not represented in the recently concluded dialogue that took place in uh, Nairobi, you know, for about eight days. M23 was not represented. So they come out here in this article written on Al Jazeera website saying that they would like to have a dialogue with the representatives of the East African community on a way forward in order to attain peace. <clears throat> the M23 rebel group says it is ready to withdraw from the occupied territory in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and will support regional peace making efforts despite not being represented in the talks. The Tusi led armed group widely seen to be a proxy of Rwanda, the Tusi led group seen to be or widely seen to be a proxy of Rwanda, claims the neighboring country denies is ready to start disengaging disengagement and withdraw. M23 spokesperson Lawrence Kanyuka said in a statement on Tuesday. However, the AFP news agency and call sources report continued clashes taking place between Congolese troops and M23 who are fighting near Goma in northern Kivu province. Same thing. While they are, you know, uh, talking peace, while they are saying they want to dialogue with East African community representatives, they have not stopped carrying out raids, fighting, and, you know, engaging in clashes with the troops of the Democratic Republic of Congo. But uh, sometimes you can't uh, entirely blame them because maybe at times they are confronted first and they have to protect themselves or the other way around. The M23 lends its support to the regional efforts to bring long-lasting peace in DRC, Kanyuka said, also confirming the group's commitment to ceasefire agreement made by leaders of neighboring countries in Angola last month. That is the truth that we were talking about that was between the government of DRC and Rwanda. M23, which is leading an offensive in Eastern DRC and in which Kinshasa described as terrorists, movement had previously said it could not cooperate with measures agreed in talks in which it was excluded so previously uh, the m23 had said 
There's no way they're going to agree to peace talks in which they were in part. But it seems pressure has been mounting for them to start speaking peace. Uh, it seems the pressure has been mounting and in one way or the other, the M23 needed to sit to get on a dialogue table. On Tuesday, Kamuka reported the East African meeting with regional uh, East African community forces to discuss modalities and renewed its request for a meeting with the mediator, Kenya's ex-president Uhuru. So the M23 are requesting to meet the representative of the East African community mediators, Kenyatta Uhuru, to discuss modalities on how peace can be attained in Kenya. Kenya facilitated the latest round of peace talks aimed at ending the conflict in which, which have been concluded in Kenya. Representatives of about 50 armed groups active in volatile, mineral-rich Eastern DRC attended, but M23 was absent. The rebel group was excluded after it failed to withdraw and uh, disarm by the ceasefire deadline. The ceasefire deadline that we talked about, that was last week on Friday, uh, as a result of the truce in Rwanda. Al Jazeera, okay, la 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 la, said the other armed groups. Uh -huh. For decades, neighboring neighboring Uganda neighbors Rwanda, Uganda have earned vast profits. From, uh, blah, blah. DRC armed group says unless the problem of foreign armed groups, uh, backed armed groups is resolved, and unless Congolese army actually protect their communities, there is no way they will lay down their tools. Kenyatta echoed the sentiments. The problem, Kenyatta echoed the sentiments. The problem is foreign groups engaging in Congo and leaving destruction. He said. At the talks, adding that the group should leave Congo in peace. M23 first came to prominence 10 years ago da, 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 when they captured Goma. Uh, the, the, the article continues to say quite a lot, but um, maybe to reoccur something small, the president, the ex-president of Kenya said that this problem of M23 is mostly engineered and geared up by the infiltration of foreign groups that are fighting within Congo. We all understand that, you know, not all these 120 to 140 groups fighting in Congo are groups grown and bred in Congo. These are some of these groups come from the neighboring countries, including uh, the, L, the ADF from Uganda, then the FDLR that has its origins from uh, Tanzania, sorry, from uh, Rwanda, but as well some other rebel groups that come from Burundi. So he says this problem should be resolved or can be resolved if these uh, armed and volatile rebel groups decide to put lay down their tools and probably go back to their original countries. Well, that is the information that we had for you today, trying to throw an insight on the DRC Congo war by telling you that the M23 is finally ready to give up the seized territories in the DRC, but also be ready to speak peace with the East African community, with the president, the ex-president of Kenya. Thanks for being part of this show today. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscription uh, button, but also like our video, share, and comment. To me, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.